I can honestly say the quick shot is my go-to for any five finish uh, touch-ups or, or smaller jobs that I have to do. No, I think it's compact, it's, it's just easy to operate. It was faster, and I'll say it's faster because, like I said, at HBLP, I had to do a whole bunch of setups and go into normal unit. Right here is like, I just gotta pull the, uh, uh, the gun and I started spraying. And, that's, and then if I stop, you know, that I don't have to go and turn off the unit. So everything it's on hand. That's like I said, really ergonomic. Everything it's where it needs to be. Um, especially reducing the, you know, the, the, uh, the valve control. Um, I, just think, I think it's just a really, really well designed uh, unit. So we go to jobs where we need to go and do small pieces. Guess what we have to do? We have to bring a little jet, uh, an air compressor, and we bring our gravity fake gun and have to set up the whole thing. How convenient it is for me to grab that, put a battery, mix my paint, spray it, put it back in my truck, and be gone. Every painter out there is gonna tell you, oh, this gun is spitting, this guy is spitting, this guy is spitting. That is gonna solve that. This one, I kept on you know, trying and trying and trying, and I never saw any, any spitting on it. Definitely, it's a lot faster to clean up than an HBOP, and definitely than an airless. One thing that I know about QuickShot is not about going fast, it's how fast it sprays, it's how well it, uh, it automizes the material and, and how, how, how good of a fine finish you're going to deliver on this unit. So it's like having the power of an airless but with the control of an HBLP.